Today is the 29th of April. It's the penultimate day of our CBA 8 conference. Tomorrow is the closing. Uh, we had a very um, heavy schedule today. We focused a lot on many posters that we received, over 40 posters. And what we did was we had a whole session for the poster presenters to give, the, give a two-minute pitch in plenary to the whole group on why people should visit their poster. And then we had a session where people could go around and visit the posters. And we had an evaluation and a prize giving for the best poster, which was won by um, a group from Nepal that was, in fact, headed by the government of Nepal. So that was quite uh, uh, interesting, especially since we had uh, bought a gift, which was a Nepali traditional uh, window gift, uh, which we had expected would be won by somebody who was not Nepali, but it was won by a Nepali. So not to worry. He said he'll put it up in his office uh, uh, proudly, as it were. At the same time, we also had a number of parallel sessions and plenary sessions. We had two book launchings. Uh, the first book is an EarthScan book that came out of uh, CBA 5, where we attempted to bring together knowledge on climate change and have it on CBA and have it published in the peer-reviewed journals. It takes a long time to do that. The book came out, uh, fortunately came out in time to be cited by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, Fifth Assessment Report. Um, and a second book which came out of CBA 6, which was uh, compiled by and prepared by Practical Action, also on community-based adaptation, lessons learned on that. So some good academic publications are now beginning to come out on the experiences of community-based adaptation on the ground. Tomorrow we are going to be having uh, an a first closing session with just the conference participants where we are going to finalize and, and um, share with the public the Kathmandu Declaration on Local Finance and we will then have a formal closing session after tea but before lunch with the Deputy Prime Minister, with Christiana Figueres, who, the Executive Secretary of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change who arrived last night and uh, with Camilla Toulman, the head of IID, who also arrived today. And we hope to have a wide publicity uh, for the Kathmandu Declaration, uh, which will be wi live webcast. So from 11.30 a.m. Kathmandu time to 1 o'clock Kathmandu time, uh, we will be live webcasting that uh, particular closing session. So anybody wants to watch it please go to www.cba.org.